You pull out that PBJ and oh no, a bee starts uh, stinging it. <laughs> Reapers, what's this good? It's your boy Laser. He's the boss back with another reaction video. He's on the reaction content. So we can do that. If he hasn't directed in the top 10 strangest buildings in the world. Guys, there's so many weird ass buildings out there that we don't even know how they were fucking designed. We're we'll die straight. Anyway, if you enjoy the reaction content, you guys want more reaction music, like future slipping. You subscribe, turn the notification bell icon on stream every night on Twitch. Go check out the stream, it's fucking amazing. Let's dive straight into the video. Hello, top teners. I'm Danny Burke, and I'm back with another top 10 video. This is where we take random topics more like this weird, wonderful world of ours and turn them into a nice little top 10 list so you don't have to. Okay, before we get into it though, I just want to explain this. I want to say that, you know, it's all good. Don't worry, I'm not bleeding. It was for a Halloween costume, so just try to ignore it. And you sure, buddy? You sure you don't have an earache? <laughs> What are they called? Is that what it's called? Ear egg? Infected ear. Just know that I'm fine. I'm good. Not real blood. <laughs> okay, so we're going to be mentioning a lot of different countries in this top 10. So I want to know from you guys, if you could go to any other country in the world apart from your own, where would it be? Leave your answers in the comments below. Buildings. They're pretty boring, right? Just bricks, windows, doors. Yeah. They also smell bad too. Wrong! This week I'm going to show you the top 10 strangest buildings of all time and by the end of it you're going to be like Wow Danny, those are some strange <laughs> buildings. I'm just so glad I watched Dude, the censoring is so useless man. Why do they censor it so late? This. And I'm going to be like, yeah I knew you'd say that so I thought I'd do a little impression of you at the start. Okay that one was actually good. Yeah. That's enough mind blowing for now. Let's get straight into the video at number 10 and it's the Kansas City Library. This one is strange. It doesn't even look like a building. It's basically just a massive bookcase and with a massive bookcase comes massive books. These huge novels measure a whopping 25 feet in height and are 9 feet wide. The 22 volumes of novels include famous titles from To Kill a Mockingbird to Lord of the Rings. The normal size Lord of the Rings took me so long to get through, so God. Romeo and Juliet. Romeo, Romeo, Romeo. Romeo. <laughs> Romeo, please. Please come back, Romeo. But please, before I kill myself with a uh, horseradish. <laughs> That's what happened, right? God knows how big the words would be on one that size. For number nine, I'm gonna turn your world right on its head. It's the Wonderworks Science Museum. The guys who built this weren't satisfied with just- This gives me, uh, anyone that's, if, cause I live in North Carolina, anyone that's been to Myrtle Beach knows that fucking, uh, upside down house, bro. You know that fucking house that's like upside down? This is the same vibes, bro. Same vibes. Just one upside down building though. There are four versions of it that can be found in America. Two in Florida, one in Tennessee, and one in South Carolina. Inside is a museum for kids that features funny and interactive space, physics, and maths exhibits. This is definitely one that's going to confuse archaeologists in thousands of years time. They're probably going to be like, what the hell are they doing? Were well, these guys idiots? These are clearly upside down. Yeah, we should probably leave a note explaining it. Moving straight to number eight, we've got the basket building. Now, there's nothing clever in that name. It's literally a building that's a basket. This started out as just a dream by Dave. Is there a uh, food in it? Is there food in it? Is there a peanut butter jelly sandwich in there? Dave Longaberger, who is the founder of the Longaberger Company, and construction of the giant basket building was completed in 1997. He didn't just randomly decide on a basket though, the company makes and distributes handcrafted maple wood baskets, and this big basket is the company's headquarters. This is another one that's probably going to confuse archaeologists in the future. I bet. Is there a peanut butter jelly in there, bro? Dude, y'all ever just go to your basket, bro, and you know, you go to a picnic, bro? You pull out that PBJ and oh no, a bee starts uh, stinging it. <laughs> They'll wonder how big our groceries were. In at lucky number seven, it's Dynamic Tower in Dubai. Now this- Sorry, Dubai is literally just a cyberpunk, basically. A cyberpunk server. Futuristic as fuck, bro. Futuristic, futuristic as shit. The building isn't technically built yet, otherwise it would have been a lot higher on the list. It's a rotating building where each floor is designed to rotate a maximum of 6 meters per minute, or one full rotation in 90 minutes. The pictures of what it will look like are incredible, but the video is even more amazing. When I found the actual video of this, I went down to the comment section, and everyone's just like, How are they gonna do this? I'm not even mocking that, because I agree. I have no idea how they're gonna pull this off. I'm pretty excited for it. We've got a house attack for number six, or at least that's what they call it. The Museum Modern Kunst in Vienna has a large collection of 20th and 21st century art, and looks pretty normal from most angles, except this one. Yeah, that's a small family home wedged into the side of it. 
This was the brainchild of artist Erwin Worm, who wanted to give people the unnerving sensation of standing under a precariously perched building. Dude, is that gonna slip off? Don't slip off. Well, Erwin, I have to say, you probably found the best way to do that. Props to you. We're halfway through now at number five, and it's Habitat 67 in Montreal, Canada. Montreal. Habitat 67 might sound like a video game or apocalypse. The country, uh, Montreal's a country, right? The city of, the capital of French, right? Yeah, the most French city capital known to man, bro, Montreal. And they, they have the fucking, uh, their sport team is the Montreal Canadiens, and I fucking hate the Canadiens with a passion. I hate the Canadiens, bro. As a Kings fan, I despise the Canadiens, especially because they took the fucking uh, 93 cup from us. I know we, we straight up just got outplayed, and they had fucking, uh, goddamn, they had, what was his name? Patrick Waugh, bro, the goddamn, I don't know, he might have been the go-to goalies. He's up there, I don't know if he's the, would you consider him the go-to goalies? I don't know, maybe. Maybe it depends. It's a movie, but it's actually an amazing spiral cluster of intertwining apartment blocks. The designer is Frieden's Reich Huntervasa, and it seems like he wants to make something as interesting as his name. Habitat 67 was completed in 2000, and the name makes me wonder what happened to the previous 66 versions. Maybe the previous 67 versions were them just trying to make a normal building, and this was their best attempt, and they just thought, whatever, that will do. I think it's pretty cool either way. <laughs> Clinching the number four spot, we're going over to the UK now for the Eden project. Now if it wasn't for the English country- What the fuck? Dude, look, it's a bunch of fucking, uh, it looks like that plastic you pop the bubbles on. <laughs> pop, 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 pop. A bunch of fucking sandy cheeks, uh, domes around here, I see. This is, this looks so fake, bruh. This looks so damn fake. Sites surrounding these buildings, you think they belonged on Mars. The Eden Project is made up of a number of artificial biodomes that contain plants and animals from all around the world. They are made of plastic cells supported by steel frames. Inside, they simulate two different environments, tropical and Mediterranean. Now this is the only place on the list that I've actually been to, and let me tell you, it's a bit of a shock to step from the English weather into tropical weather inside the biome. And I give you guys warning right now, you probably might not want to leave. For number three, we're keeping up our trend of buildings that sound like movies or video games with the Atonium. This one doesn't even look like a building, and there's a reason for it. It isn't supposed to. The 335 tall stainless steel structure is meant to represent the unit cell of an iron crystal magnified 165 billion times. It was designed by engineer Andre Waterkane for the 1958 Brussels World's Fair and now acts as a museum. CNN actually named it Europe's most bizarre building and you can kind of see why. I think conspiracy theorists from the future are going to go wild for this one. It looks pure science fiction. In at number two and just missing out on the number one spot, it's the wooden gangster building in Russia. At first glance, the strangest thing about this thing is that it's actually standing. I mean, look at it. The place looks like it will come down. In a Dude, that's going to that's gonna fall down, bro. That's just gonna fall down. That's just gonna fall down. Look how fucking I do not trust that shit. Hell no, nah. dude. One fucking hurricane, it's wraps. One fucking uh, tree that falls down on the shit, that whole thing's gonna fucking break in half. It looks so damn fragile. Hell no. Nah. A strong wind. Apparently, the gangster who built it, Nikolai Sutyagin, described it as the eighth wonder of the world. Standing at an incredible 144 feet and made entirely of wood, the house was never meant to be this tall. The owner said he began work on it in 1992 as a two story house, but was inspired by Japanese and Norwegian log cabins to keep building higher. Some people might say this is amazing, and others might say it's just a fire hazard, but either way, I think it deserves a number two spot. But that Pretty can cool, only then. mean one thing we have a winner in at our number one spot it's Ideal Palace in France. The construction of this thing took 33 years to build with a total workforce of one person. That's right, Ferdinand Cheval, a postman with no formal construction training, built this place over the course of 60 years. It all started when he was, this me out, Clay. was 13 years old. Ferdinand would pick up stones on his postal route and collect them. He used the stones to build. Is that me out, Clay, bro? All right, I'll be down in a sec of his fantastical construction, which he called Ideal Palace. As he got older, he dreamt of ever more complicated parts to the palace, including a Swiss chalet, a mosque, and even a medieval castle. It's honestly one of the most amazing things I've ever seen, made even more amazing by the fact that it came from one man's mind, and he built it all with his bare hands. I know, everything comes from the imagination. Everything comes from the imagination, bro. We're creators, you know what I'm saying? 
Everything comes from the imagination, bro. We're creators. Literally, everything around you you call life was created, except the, like nature, but everything human made. You know what I'm saying? That's why it's our number one. And hey, if you don't agree with me, you can check the place out yourself. It's open almost any day of the year to all tourists to go and see. Or if you can't do that, let me know what you thought should have been number one in the comments below. So that was your top ten. Well, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Guys, which one of those strange buildings was the most interesting to you? If you enjoyed the reaction content, you can always be huge to do. I'll see you next one. Peace. <laughs>